back to the Goons ah. podcast. Welcome Don't back scare to the Goons podcast. Like that. The past ah. few times that you've done the intro, it always cuts out, so it's always like, well, I gassed. I, Gas. Oh, it doesn't cut out on my end, so it doesn't matter. Well, Bitch. maybe you should cut you a slice of apple pie Stinky. and treat yourself. Stinky. You've been a good boy. Really You've been a good boy. You deserve it. I actually it. don't like apple pie. I don't, there's something about it just not... That is un-American. Racist. In my country. Doesn't apple pie make you horny? Or is that... Everything what? makes McNasty that's, horny. No, no, that's pumpkin mm, pie, that's right? Isn't it aphrodisiac? Aphrodisiac? What about African Americans eating pumpkins? Dude, no way you guys don't actually know that word. <clears throat> Afrodisiac. It's, 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 saying, it's things bro. that make you Ain't horny. That the president like, of Africa? It, it's it, it, Afros it's have always make, made me horny, regardless of pumpkin horny. pie. Okay. Yeah. That's no. Great. The only the only aphrodisiac I know of is oysters. That's like a <laughs> really yes. That's yeah, the only one I've so, ever actually heard of that's like common. And it's only because of white. Is that chicks. actually the definition of that word? Yeah. Like, you eat stuff, and it makes you chubbed up. Okay, so drywall is an aphrodisiac. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, you taint. <laughs> Intestines. An entire oh, Tonka truck I took Grandma from a kid. Grandma teeth. Baby tonsils. And Watching a guana a that was on the side flip. of the road. Mm. Yeah, okay, you guys uh, get it. G-Subs. <laughs> code G-Subs Damn, to get cool. chubbed yeah, up. G- get chubbed up no, with G-Subs. No, don't use code G-Subs. Use code Goons. I don't know why. You code Goons on G-Subs is an <laughs> aphrodisiac. <laughs> Drink G-Subs, it'll make you horny. Use code G-Subs for, for Goons. So if I saw a really handsome African-American with an afro and I said, Hey, bro, you an aphrodisiac, would I get... Yeah, what if yeah, he'll probably punch you in the throat. What if afros were your turn on? What if eating afros, <laughs> afro fuzz, was an aphrodisiac? That would be disgusting. I feel like afro it'd be like licking a tennis ball. Eat an all afro the time. for a for a little snag. Afro eat it in the snack. Yeah. What, what is going on right now? What are you yeah. saying right now? No, no, he's no, he's right about this one. Hear him <laughs> out. This podcast has <laughs> just dissolved into words. It, like dissolved. it hasn't dissolved, it's dissolved in water. <laughs> it has not. <laughs> This We're podcast a power. Devolved. De- what, devolved is what I meant. Yeah, sorry. I just woke up like 10 minutes before. That's, the not, that's, that's, not your that's crazy. That's not. Because no. it's 1 p.m. <laughs> 1 p.m. Time to wake up. Sun's out. Guns out. Oh, is it not depressing just losing half of your day? Like half of the sun? No. You get used to it. Not really. I don't go outside anyways. I that is hot even day. more depressing. You yeah, literally well, you gotta get some melanin. Like get some melanin in that skin, boy. Yeah, you get some melatonin yeah. in that skin. I don't. What? Maybe you wouldn't be such a worthless, depressed bitch. If you got I'm some more vitamin D's in you, boy, you wouldn't be sleeping all day. Get some D's in you. Actually, Afro my sleeping schedule has, for the most part, been good. But I'll just have one day where I'll, something will happen. Like the other day, I was just—I just stayed up really late editing and it just that, takes that, that it out CSK for a video. month. <laughs> yeah, just, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, but I'm trying to not let it take me out for a month, like I normally do. How do you take me out for one month? We'll go study. I'm trying to. It's a long date. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a whole Let's go month. Let's on a trip together, babe. Actually, it'd probably be pretty fun. I think so. I want to go on a cruise. Let's go somewhere no, you and stay inside and, Why? and sleep in. Cruises suck. <clears throat> it's like, they're yeah. fun when you can leave them and you're like docked and all that stuff, but like oh. not Ooh, being able to leave you. if you want to. You can dock not. on a cruise? That's fucking hot, dude. I don't think I mean, I'm sure nobody you. would stop you, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have your own private I think anybody's going to burst into your room. Anybody talking in there? Your wiener in. <laughs> yeah, dock stop check! putting your wiener in another guy's wiener. Dock the check. International Waters Dock Police. <laughs> no gay activities. That's the only thing that's regulated on international waters. <laughs> There's just a bunch of doctors, docking. too, on there. Doc- doctors, doctors docking. Yeah. Mm. Doctors against docking. Doctors, doctors a docking at the dock. About a dock. <laughs> docking my car in another That guy's would be a dick. book that I would read. If somebody wrote that book, I would read that. I'm not a book reader. We know. I <laughs> get that right You don't reader. need to tell us that. <laughs> Actually, for a short period of time, I really wanted to start reading, but I just couldn't get into it. What, like 10 seconds and then you gave up? <laughs> I, I bought saw all the fucking, words on the page, didn't know what they meant. I bought an Amazon Kindle and started like reading an old book that I read in high school, and I just couldn't get into it. I just not sponsored, but you should just try Audible then. If you just don't want to read, <clears throat> if your yeah. interest is the knowledge or the stories, yeah, yeah. But I, the the whole reason of the 
of wanting to read is just to because I noticed myself aging getting and, dumber. Yeah, and I honestly <laughs> think it's just this job. Yeah, like being a YouTuber and just not never having your mind challenged. Brain rot. And also um, not going outside like you said you yeah. never do. Yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, not like I socializing mean, with people on a regular. challenge yourself. Yeah, that's going to happen no matter what career you have. Like, I just You're feel like, like my... Learning I shit. wouldn't say like my vocabulary is lowered, but like my ability to possible. be like snappy and like... Like I'll, I'll fumble my words and shit and, and just... I think that's the setting in. How, uh, how, how <laughs> social are you? How's your social life outside of... Terrible. Awful. Mm. I live yeah. alone now. It's not good. Well, that, yeah, that, you know you can leave if you live alone, right? Like you. Well, I live you alone. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. You can just like find somebody to hang out with. <laughs> What's your uh, cousin? I yeah. know you used to always hang out with your cousin. Yeah, he lived. Uh, he lived here, but he moved out. You should spice your life up. You should <clears> get like. You should do like some charity work, but like also Adam like. Com? No, no, no! You should get like some homeless <laughs> crackhead as a roommate. Oh, well, just, I am like, getting another roommate like, in a couple doc, months. You, you could document the whole thing, yeah, like letting all. any yeah, yeah I letting would a not homeless trust, man move in. I let a homeless I guy that I don't know guy. who's addicted to drugs live in my LA house. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, that'd be that great. Ever. Why? <laughs> that would be a very smart. First of all, video. he robbed me. You know, no, no, okay. okay. second of all, realization oh, about the homeless crackheads you made. Second of all, shut the hell up. You know he would not rob about. you. He'd be grateful. He'd be like, bro, thank you for letting me stay here. I'm going to go rob other people and bring the stolen goods yeah, exactly. back. Yeah, he's like, like Robin a, Hood. Yeah. yeah, he's like, or like when, you know, people that like. Yeah, and then I'm an accomplice to robbery. Send them out to go steal watches. No, you're, you're not. not. You just turn a blind eye, pretend you didn't know nothing. I don't know yeah. where he got those nine Ferraris. I thought he bought those. <laughs> <laughs> nine Ferraris? He's, it, yeah, it was, yeah, it was a joke. He stole yeah. the Ferraris. The fuck? Nine yeah. Ferraris? How dare you? Oh, okay. He's just also <laughs> doing a bit. Guy Fieri? How could he? He stole Guy Fieri. God, I, I would totally do right something now. like that, but I'd have to have like 24-7 security. Like <laughs> yeah. somebody just standing outside of my room at all times to make sure <laughs> the crackhead doesn't like try and touch me inappropriately. I'd probably let well, you. Could, like, uh, you you yeah, could get a, like a cage at nighttime for him or something. <laughs> <laughs> you can live here for free, but you got to stay in the cage. Stay in the kennel. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys ever ten. wonder like what what uh, like a really famous person is doing like right this second? Like I wonder what no, Guy Fieri is doing never. right now. Guy Fieri? Uh, yeah. Probably, probably he's just being like dying in flavor town. Probably boning yeah. a piece of garlic bread. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm being serious. I don't think the guy Fieri fucks garlic bread. Huh? I'm being just wondering, serious like, too. Is he watching? He, is he watching like the news right now on his couch? Is he taking a dump? Is he making himself lunch? I would or something? imagine he's probably taking a dump. Those probably take quite a long time with how much. <laughs> yeah. You think his turds have? Uh, I don't know. Frosted My dumps tips? are pretty fast. What? What about his frosted tips? You think his turds have frosted tips? Take the end is just blonde. <laughs> I like to think uh, so. No, I don't think that, honestly. <laughs> I bet it does. I do think about, though, whenever I take a shit, I was, uh, like, how many people are shitting in unison with me right now? Yeah, I think about that, too. Sometimes July when I'm beating off, I think about that, too. July 4th, 6 p.m. EST. What? What? What about what EST? <laughs> what was that? Why did you July just July 4th, 6 p.m. EST. Yeah, what? what you, you guys already forgot? What's it? What? Hmm? what are we doing? Do we I feel like we've we're, mentioned we're all farting in unison. Remember? Oh, Were you that's there right. For that okay, part? I forgot. Oh, yeah. I, wait, I, what? I, I like remembered the date or remembered hearing that date, and I couldn't think of what the fuck it was. It's our evil plan to gas the world. <laughs> that's there's gonna be a lot of fireworks that day too. Somebody's gonna die, and we will blame the fart and not the firework. It's the perfect mm -hmm. alibi. It really is an alibi. I don't know what to call it. No, it's not. That's not an alibi. But you know, we'll. We'll call it that for the sake of easiness. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so anybody buddy, got anything like interesting to talk about? No. Uh, God. I don't think so. We fucking suck. New COD, dude. <laughs> yeah, new COD. Yeah. Did you guys new watch cock. that? New cock? Yeah, new I did cock watch just it. dropped. God put out his new Did you guys cock. actually watch it? I was at the gym. Yeah, so I no, like I didn't. Them. Massive wiener too. I can't wait. <clears throat> yeah, I am actually excited for a new cock. Mom's I, I watermelon. I really like the original Modern Warfare. I, I think that was whites too. I think that was the best <laughs> cod game. 
I agree. Marshmallow whip. Were you agreeing to marginalized whites or to what I said, Soup? Both. Oh, okay. Marginalized whites? What does that even mean? I like to marginalize It's when you turn white, white people laundry. into butter. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> God. Yeah. Dude, I fucking love butter, dude. God damn, I fucking love Let's butter. Let's get Paula Dean on the podcast. God damn, I love Didn't butter. Did she say the N-word or something, or is that someone else? Yeah, no, she, she said did. the N-word. She got, yeah, she got like, it. robbed. No, in her own home, but she admitted to saying it. I think that's what got her canceled. Oh. She got robbed by a black person, and she told her husband about it. Like, some N-word robbed oh, me. Oh, well, and yeah, that's... I think that's, that's the probably story. not the best way to describe that. <laughs> Why did she even She's admit a, that? It shows other words. Little hoot nanny. Is that what Some little scoundrel. I, I thought she had, like, people working for her, and she said something that was inappropriate to him. Who was think, it that like, used to Ellen. call their, uh... Was that Ellen that used to call her black employees her little N-word lits? No little... shot. No. See, I thought, see, I thought Paula that. Dean was the one that Holy did shit. that. Somebody did something fucking weird like that, and they're just... I mean, just she could have. I don't know. I, I, I heard she did it in her own home and admitted to it. All I know is she, she likes butter and the N-word. That's all I know about Paula yeah. Dean. Likes butter, So her blacks. and McNasty got a lot in common. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should fuck. You guys should fuck. <laughs> Would you guys fuck You cannot her? pay me to Would fuck Paula Dean. Hold on, no, no, no. Hell no. Now hear me out. Bro, that no. pussy lubed in she butter. Got, yeah, she'd lube up your cock with butter. I don't want that. <laughs> and then suck your cock. She I want to eat your little ass. I don't want it on my penis. Why not? Because I'm not a fucking animal. Mm. That's cap. Well, we, That's we're all... Cap. You've talked, you've talked about your cap. fetishes here. That is... Omega lol, Komodo hype. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Is this like a, a running gag that we have now? Well, Something we have to put up noises. with? You make noises and then tell yourself to shut up. <laughs> I think he's just hmm? a nine-year-old. Hmm? I don't What'd think there's anything else I, there. <clears throat> I don't know what happened in the past 30 seconds, sorry. No, that's fine. We just, we know you would fuck Paula Dean. Do we need right. to get you a doctor or something? <laughs> yeah, I would fuck Paula Dean. Okay. Yeah. It. Only she, if she had a shitty ass crack, though. Glad we got that sorted. I, I want to be covered in dingleberries. After. Yeah, Every time, I want I just, a racing I, I, stripe down the center of my cock to give me like three extra horsepower. I bet her yeah, dingleberries exactly. are delicious. I bro. bet butter is yeah. an aphrodisiac for her ass. I wonder if she uses dingleberries <laughs> to make a pie with lots butter, of butter, butter, and more butter. And she's just like and then a stick of butter. She's just like dripping at the pussy while she's putting that butter in. <laughs> Holiday. I bet her pussy, pussy feels like the bottom of a popcorn bag. Rancid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That might be oh. the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. That is actually the worst description of a coochie I've ever heard in my life. I like how you started laughing while you were saying that. <laughs> that broke character. That's really funny. Oh. That is fucking putrid. <laughs> You could just, if, if you go down on her, you could still taste like the residue on the roof of your mouth. Like you ate something greasy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like a stain on your shirt when you drop a piece of popcorn on you. <laughs> oh, I'd still hit. Anyway, oh, so, yeah, yeah, we, so what we're saying is we'd all hit. Yeah. When I see Paula Dean, I just think, Mama, Mama. Goo <laughs> goo Lactate that butter for me. I want, a, I want a time machine just so I can go back and s for 10 <laughs> seconds and tell you not to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back so I get to hear it again. Yeah, I'm going to go back in time and stop McNasty from stopping you. <laughs> uh, Don't do that. You're going to mess up the, the future if you do that. Yeah, what would have gonna... happened if, if, if you didn't uh, say true. that today? Would, would I, Israel like, not... just gets nuked immediately Yeah, for no reason. I would never meet <laughs> just... my wife or <laughs> your husband. I wonder oh, how yeah. many right. things Sorry, like... Sorry, character, my husband. I wonder how many things happen, like, all the time that just would not change the timeline at all. Like, if you were to go back and just stop it, like, it just wouldn't um, affect... Like, like I feel like, like if throwing there was one, a nickel away or something? Oh. Yeah, like a oh. nickel or just, like... Like, delaying one of Obama's shits by five minutes or something? Yeah. <laughs> well, how, what would you do to delay Obama's shit? Uh, Break the take toilet. him out. Just, just sneak a butt plug up there or something. Can you say take, take him the water out. to the toilet? Take him out. I don't think you could say take him out. In the <laughs> what? Yeah, like take I'm him out for a nice like, dinner? What the oh, fuck? Get your mind out of the gutter, bro. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm sh you can now. He's not the president. 
Yeah, oh, that doesn't go still... away. They have Secret just... Service protection forever. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you think they just they just let Obama <laughs> roam the wilderness with no protection? <laughs> they put him in a forest and said, "Good luck." <laughs> well, you're not the president anymore, so bye. <laughs> You have to yeah, they just treat him like how my dad treated my pet turtle. <clears throat> just throw him in the woods, leave him to die. Just get him a one-bedroom apartment in the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's probably worse than the woods. <laughs> they send him back to his childhood home. <laughs> Afghanistan. You mean not in this country? Wasn't he born? Yeah, he was born like, Where was he born at? Not here. <laughs> Mabutu, oh, Abula, all all like I remember that. is everyone was very mad at him because he yeah, was like, birth certificate, birth certificate. <laughs> He's uh, he wasn't born here. He was born in the Fortnite item shop, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> Can you imagine I was born in the Fortnite, Fortnite item shop. I'd be surprised. That'd be incredible. Just a big old Obama event. He's given a concert. Big old giant, like the just like a replica of the Travis Scott one. Just a big yeah. giant Obama. Yeah, what would he sing? A ton of brown guys. Just giving like an inaugural address. Day and, and sing night. A song. <laughs> Drone I, strikes the whole server. I just don't know Wiz Khalifa song. <laughs> that's not Wiz Khalifa. Oh, that's right. Oh, I was thinking of black and yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow. That's not actually that is. Never mind, you're right. That is okay. like one of old Wiz Khalifa songs. Yeah. He knows rap culture. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I did something <laughs> sinful. Nice. Oh, no, what did it? you do? I'm here did to your confess. penis out right now. Okay. Tell me you? of your sins, son. <sighs> Guys, please don't be upset at me, but I I had to. It was morbid curiosity. Uh-oh. You watched Morbius. You put a jar in your ass. I was morbid. I was at home oh, alone. Oh, no. Was it morbid time? <laughs> no. How I got swindled it? by corporate America. I felt like McNasty. What? Um, <laughs> okay. This man, McNasty, been swindled by corporate America? Do I normally America? get yeah, swindled? Yeah, yeah, the, the whole America? little... Little Caesars uh, branding, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. right, right. Oh. I was swindled. Oh. I admit I, uh, defeat. I drove so by Little Caesars order, today. You ordered a Big Mac? Uh, no, close though. I I saw uh, Arby's. I, I had to, bro. No. I had to. We you, always we talk did Arby's. Listen, bro. Dude. Listen, let me explain myself. <laughs> that is infinitely worse than me calling a listen, pizza on ready. Let me explain I'd actually myself. think I'd rather I... shit into my own palm and just eat it. Why would you let yourself stoop this low? I saw a commercial, okay? I they saw won! A commercial. Oh they won, God. bro. I got swindled. They brainwashed you. They did. And was it was the for, burger? It was for it Arby's was Wagyu, Wagyu Burger, bro. I and I was like, there's no fucking way that that's real Wagyu. I said the same exact sentence. And I, I mean, <laughs> obviously, obviously it's, it's not, but no. I was like, I have to fucking... See for myself. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's real American Wagyu, but yeah, that's yeah, American that's Wagyu not is not very expensive. Yeah, it's like well, that shit was should... ass, bro. Of My burger was, was pink in the middle. It was pink. Yeah, pink burgers are not the way to go. No, no, they're definitely not. Especially because it's like anything, that's actually dude. dangerous. What yeah, mean, pink steak. No, dude, fucking pink pussy. I don't want that shit. I want blue old moldy puss. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to relieve myself of this podcast. <laughs> Why is it blue? <laughs> Are you like an Avatar world or something? Look up Blue Waffle, yeah. McNasty. What the, Smurf yeah, pussy? The blue Avatar waffle. Red Greasy. Pancake. What is red a pancake. Red Pancake? <laughs> Look it up. That it's sounds violent. That, that sounds like time of the month. Oh, oh. Red Pancake, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I tried the Wagyu burger. I had to. I don't get it. Don't Don't do worry. It. Just like I remember, I had Arby's I like I think a year Arby's. ago, and I just got like a few different things to try, and I each I took a bite of each, and I hated all of it. It's it not the only thing. Their curly fries, delicious, and their matzo sticks are oddly good for a fast food place. Other their that, curly fries nope. are the same curly fries as like all the other fast food places. Like Jack in the Box. They yeah, all use no, this, nobody here. They all has use the same business. Curly fries. Really? Is that like yeah, not a Canadian like, thing? No, like there's random places, but there's no like fast food places really that have curly fries around. Oh, here. well, the only two I know of oh, is Arby's. Beef and cheddar and, isn't that bad. Uh, that's a uh, I would I would say that's probably one of the worst. Yeah, it ain't that the bad. Cheese, the cheese sauce they use, I just I feel like I'm eating yeah. baby bird puke. It uh, reminds me of like not, a, a lunchable. It's like not cheesy. It's just <laughs> like yeah. a. Hey, watch your mouth about lunchables. It's like yellow. Yeah, that's why I, that, that's why I'm defending it because I like, it's like lunchables. yellow melted plastic. 
Yeah. Mm. I'm more. saving the ocean, baby. Every Arbor's burger more. saves the ocean. Yeah. I'm eating plastic so the turtles don't have to. <laughs> That's right. If I if I were to go if I was forced to eat something at Arby's, I'd probably eat the French dip. That's really the only thing that I can I'd like, probably eat the cashier. Kind of <laughs> Take a bite yeah. out of it. I'd eat the gum from under the tables. <laughs> Still better than the sandwich. Still more edible than the sandwich. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So Best don't fries go to Taco Burger. Bell, nacho fries, hands down. Don't add me. Yeah, I will Never remember that soup. I will keep that in mind. I don't know. Rally's fries are pretty good. You have rallies or checkers? A uh, long time. That ago. place is complete horse shit. Don't. Yeah, it's don't. ass, but their fries are really good. They always and they're always like fresh off the fryer too. They're never like Ooh. you're never gonna like dead or dead like dry. What is it? What is the word? Stale, stale like fries. Yeah, from my fries are dead. I want them dead. alive, please. <laughs> I want a little Please crying bring faces me on them. Please bring me live fries. They just bring you a potato still growing. Do you guys like McDonald's fries? Yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. Only if they're fresh though. Like I feel like seventy-five percent of the time they're not fresh. Yeah. But when you just I get just a good like fresh them. fry. I don't. Really? I think it's shoestring fries. I'm just not a huge fan of. Like the super small ones. I don't yeah. know something about them. Me neither. But like but McDonald's are an exception. You probably don't have steak and shake up there, do you? No, but I've had steak and shake before. Place is ass. It's all right. The milkshakes are pretty fucking good, though. Well, yeah, but they should just call themselves shake just... then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Take out the steak. Actually, I'm pretty sure steak and shake is what gave Puffer boo boo ass aids. Nice. Kind of. I'm pretty sure he ate a fucking glizzy from that bitch in Boston. Oh well, I don't think anybody goes there for their hot dogs. Yeah, and he he showed up to my hotel, went in my bathroom, and he's like. I gotta go die in your bathroom lobby toilet, and I said okay, and then he threw up, and that was that. Dude, I watched Back a video. To the lobby. So there's this there's this <laughs> dude on TikTok. <laughs> there's this dude on TikTok I get a lot, and he like he puts stuff under like microscopes. He'll go and like scoop a jar of like pond water, and like put it under a microscope just to look at all like the little organisms. Yeah. And somebody somebody asked him to put a. To look at a hot dog slice under the microscope, oh, and oh, dude, I I don't think I honestly want to ever eat a hot dog again. I just after ate one what, what am I eating? It it like there was at one point he looked and there was like the head of a bug. What? Mm. It wasn't like obviously it was a microscopic bug, but it was just like he it had eyes on it and it was just uh, the head of the bug. Mm. And there was the most because I've seen him do this with other stuff before, like other food items and. Because he, he likes to look for microplastics in food. And <laughs> there was so many microplastics <laughs> in hot dog. Like oh, every absolutely. time he moved a little thing, there were just like these strands of like hair and like little chunks of blackness. And it was just like... Blackness? I was, I was like... Well, I mean, like there's, there's a of, reason you can get like 12 of them for nine cents. Like you're <laughs> yeah. literally just... Yeah. Just dog Well, it makes me wonder, shit. like I want him to do... <laughs> I want him to do Bless like you. an expensive Thank like... Like sausage or like hot link or something like. You might be surprised. It's probably mushroom. pretty fucking similar, dude. I don't know. There's a. It depends on where you get the sausage from. But if you get one like from like a smokehouse, like the ones where they like do everything themselves and actually make yeah. it, that's probably gonna mostly just be like. Well, hot dogs. Things. Hot dogs are that pink it's, slime shit. It's just a goo. It's not actually slime, but yes, it is just. Well, it's just it's a lot of the stuff that they don't use for other food, but <laughs> like. <clears throat> yep. Sausage, they you know it's ground up like meat. Yeah, it's usually they'll, they'll just like grind like up meat and just put it in a casing. Tougher meat and fat, a lot of fat. Yeah, because it makes it yummy and then it renders down and ooh, they're good. Yeah, right. I like sausage. Uh, it's weird because I really like sausages, but a hot dog, like, is my last case scenario. Like, usually the only time I'll ever eat them is like for some reason they become they became the meta at golf courses. So if I'm like dying really? after nine holes, like the only food you can get oh. is a hot dog. So <clears throat> yeah, I mean, fucked. even though even though I saw like how gross it was, I I soon realized I'm like I've eaten probably ten thousand hot dogs in my life and I'm fine. So it's oh, like yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't know no. any different if you didn't like research yeah. into them. So Look ignorance, ignorance is definitely screen. bliss. Yeah, ignorance is yeah, definitely for bliss sure. with that. Like they're they're not gonna fucking kill you. It's like, like it one is, of those things is regulated. That, so it's like one of those things yeah. that like just God didn't intend for you to see. I feel like. You know? <laughs> 
It's like, seeing, for that it's, it's like seeing your grandma's titties or something. You know what well, I mean? Like God just, just did nature. not intend if for that to happen. If there is a God, they did not account for hot dogs in general, let alone to be yeah. looked at under a microscope. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You no way to any, any greater mind could be like, they're going to grind up this hog ass <laughs> and throw some pink shit in, and people are going to eat this at baseball games. <laughs> Like, just, you know what's no weird though? He's saying that. that Pink Floyd's playing in the background. He's just like creating <laughs> pink sludge. <laughs> what's weird though is, is like, if God controls like everything on Earth, why didn't He stop hot dogs from being invented? Check well, maybe maybe it was. Yeah, he, uh, he has. He gives us free becomes, will, McNasty. Yeah, then it becomes free will. But then you know, if if He made like a Almighty uh, version of Himself, <laughs> humans are supposed to be, then our free will would probably be good and not bad. But that's okay. We'll ignore that. Gloss over that. Yeah. <laughs> That was one of them G subs burps right there, baby. By the way, mm, that McNasty, was probably after a Miller Lite you burp, honestly. Having the uh, the caffeine free ones, I decided to start drinking more of them, and the, yeah, those actually bang. The caffeine yeah, they're ones. pretty good because you could just like chug them and not have to worry about your heart exploding. The problem is, bro, they make me <laughs> piss like a motherfucker for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why, water. but I I drink, uh, but I drink like I wake up and I immediately drink like 500 milliliters of water like every day. Mm. But for some reason, when it's 500 milliliters of like G subs water, I just I'm just in urine town all morning. Ah, uh, <laughs> urine town's the best. I love that. It's I love just like to rotting urine your town. bladder. Yeah, I don't know. It's Why are you shit though, talking so. soda on your Twitter blog? Yeah, so yeah fuck you. Rancid. Fuck you, you dude. Some nah, are. you guys are gross. Have you had the new Coke Zero? No, diet no, so it's fucking delicious. Because water Coke is zero, a thing. I will die Coke as zero, a hydro. Dude, homie. I I drink at least two fucking sixty four ounce Yetis of water a day, but I still drink soda. Gross. Just don't. Fuck you, dude. Pepsi's good now. Come on, bro. Pe Pepsi's better nope. than Coke. <clears throat> it is. <clears throat> Well, I try not to drink regular soda, but I drink like zero sugar sodas. So that's, kiss my pussy. I guess that's slightly better. Well, I'm not just, getting calories. Then they just put yeah, rat poison in that shit. Bad. Yeah, no, it's just aspartame, which is fine. Uh, it's rat poison. You can't Some change. Some people mind. say it's gonna Actually, give you the cancer new, balls. Some people say it won't. Most of so the reasons are fine, but the new zero sugars they're starting to put sucralose in it, like Splenda kind of stuff, and it's like way less bad than aspartame. I don't think aspartame is even that bad. Uh, in high doses, it is. Like you would have to drink probably well, yeah, a couple so two sugar, liters of like so. diet. And so is like broccoli. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. You could literally overdose <clears throat> on water. <clears throat> yeah. Or die of radiation. Uh, yeah, that's bananas. called that's called drowning to death. Well, I guess kind of, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the mob just making people OD on water, throwing them in the river. <laughs> they just want everybody I to be hydrated. A, as uh, fuck. There was a like a biker. Like a one of the like France fast biker dudes. France. <laughs> know, fast what are they called? <laughs> you, the Tour people, de France good, motherfuckers. De France. Good description, McNasty. Tour de Tour de France. Yeah. Them fast. Uh, one, of them, one of them. One of them fast biking de France. retards. He just he drinks so much water that it just washed the salt out of his brain and he died. So you can OD on water. You can drink too much water. Yeah, you, yeah. you can definitely drink too much water, but like, that's pretty insane. There had to, the there had to have been brain? something else going on. Like, no what? way a piece of Himalayan salt just fell out of his noggin and he died. Like, <laughs> no. It was, well, nice, your, your it was nice that the water left the pepper in there. Yeah. <laughs> your body needs sodium to survive, so I think when yeah. you just overdo water, you just, you, you, you your expel the sodium out of your body. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're electric, like if you take, if you take too much magnesium, like you can overdose on magnesium and just die. Your heart will just stop. Well, yeah, a lot of but your like body fat needs magnesium. Things you you can't overdose. Yeah, or you can't yeah. have a ton of. But like any water soluble stuff, you can have a shit ton of. Like yeah, you, you can, can literally like take two hundred vitamin D's a day and be fine. Never had this problem with no, it's vitamin ever. vitamin D. Vitamin D is water no, soluble. Vitamin C, I think they're gonna have. No, vitamin you can, D is water soluble. Motherfucker, motherfucker, ass, motherfucker. Let me look it up. Okay. The Just key here is that everything is things. better in moderation. Yep. You don't know motherfucker, about motherfucker, uh, the Vitamin D is Except a fat ketamine. soluble vitamin. So kiss my vitamin pussy. Vitamin D is fat soluble. There's no way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I, I remember hearing a story about a kid who there was this family that moved from like the Philippines or something B. over to America. There's your first it's problem. Check B. Yeah, I'd be thinking of B. 
vitamin B. I, I'm pretty sure. And vitamin C, I know for, for sure is. But there was B, this family. There was a story about this family that came over from like the Philippines or Vietnam or something. And the kid, the kid of the family wanted, asked like his mom to go get him some like fruit snacks. Uh, sorry, this oh, story is boring you to death, those dude. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Falling asleep over there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they didn't know because they didn't sense, really, they yeah. didn't know English. English? They didn't. Know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know English. <laughs> what is the story, McNasty? What are you saying? But they, the they, they, so, so the woman, the mom went to the store, and obviously they don't speak English. They're fresh out of fucking Vietnam, and she grabs a big bottle of vitamin D. Like gummies, thinking it's like just fruit like snacks. Fruit snacks, yeah. And the kid eats so much of that that something happens with his bones where it's like calcium. The calcium of his bones like leaks into his blood, and oh, he gets like super fuck? sick. Yeah. I thought you say so. Yeah, she completely numbers. ignored all the cartoon branding, happy looking branding, and went straight for the fucking pharmacy looking. Vitamin yeah, D. yeah. I this guess like Jameson one. Like what the fuck? Big yeah, maybe in Vietnam again. they don't have very many. Like cartoon branded things, maybe it's just Probably like not. Fruit I don't snack. think cartoons are allowed fruit, there. Yeah. It's just a dried fruit up mango, snack. milk, <laughs> chips, gray label, vitamin D on it, nothing else. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, well, it was probably our, our kids' gummies one. too. I mean, they I could see, had, like, I could see how that would happen. I mean, like Flintstone gummies, you're not supposed to eat a ton of those, right? Not, not, I'm sure, not if ever you had like 56 of, of them. I mean, I, it, I, even, I definitely one. capped. What? I hated those when I was a kid. Flintstones. What? You're retarded. You're retarded. Not the gummies, the chewables. What? I like them both. There's really they the, tasted like chalk to me. I hated them. Yeah, I just RP that I'm eating the teacher's chalk right now, and I feel powerful. Okay, the Scooby Doo used... fruit snacks are munching. Oh, they they those are hard. Toilet. Or like any generic fruit snack like that, like the fucking Scooby Doo ones or any of those. <clears> they <throat> went unbelievably hard. I have a box of uh, Welch's fruit snacks in my pantry. Thanks. Pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. You my roommate Brandon um, accidentally ate like <laughs> fucking four or five, like I think like ten milligram edibles because uh, yeah, they were in a Welch's fruit snack uh, bag, and he just oh was unaware. That's dangerous. And I just sat there and watched him eat them. And I was I'm gonna just, be honest, I feel like Brandon what? probably would have done that anyway. <laughs> no, no, he he's he's not like that at all. <laughs> at all so just sitting there watching him eat the edibles and not saying a word oh it was it was yeah. so that's good so, that's like mean as a friend to just sit there and be like yeah I mean it's not like it's gonna kill him worst case he greens out throws up and calls it a day and then it's just a greens out mm -hmm. never heard, of, never heard of somebody greening out uh -uh. it's like if you smoke too much it's like having alcohol poisoning you'll just throw up maybe die call it a day do that to my titties. You don't have titties. I kind of have titties. I pooted. I doubt it. I pooted. That's that's good, buddy. Why do I feel like I'm in a daycare right now? <laughs> Does it not feel like that every podcast we do? Because that's kind of what it feels yeah, like true. every podcast. We I do. need titty milk. I feel like that's part of our chart. That shouldn't be happening at daycare. <laughs> I can't remember who I was talking to this about so with, teacher. but I wanted to ask you guys: Are you able to just go into a prison ready. And, and talk oh. to prisoners? Uh, Do you mean like, so. like like people you like don't know, legally? just like any random? Yeah, yeah, you can. I'm sure if you request them, yeah. I don't think you can just go in and talk to like high security, but probably low. No, security, I mean like the, the prisoners. Like, yeah. Oh, you mean yeah. like where they're held? Where they're held? Okay, I got you. Behind, yeah, I'm sure you mean you on the just... other side of the glass type thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably. I can't imagine anybody being like, no. Well, I think it would I mean, be so much really fun to go the in there and too. just start talking shit. Some prisons have, like, these big open, like, areas with just, like, a bunch of bunk beds everywhere. <laughs> they got, like, pin pinatas. <clears throat> shit, they're in there playing chess. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's just, it's, it's just for people who, like, aren't vicious murderers and, and you know, pedophiles and shit. It's for people who are just there for, like, petty crimes. You know, that are Pedophiles, like safe people. Petty crime. Petty, petty crime. <laughs> <laughs> Pedo crime. <laughs> <laughs> no, no petty crime. <laughs> I'm in here for petting a dog too hard. <laughs> Have you guys like been uh, like keeping up with that quantum TV bullshit that's been going on? No. no. What the fuck is I have no idea what the fuck that is. You got, really? 
So there's this guy, this YouTuber uh, named Quantum TV, and he's been like falsely copyright striking a lot of people. Oh. And um, yeah, like people will make a video on him I think and I heard about it'll this. just be, it'll just be like a, just a commentary video and he'll like strike it. And YouTube is like taking his side, even though he's clearly like abusing the TOS and the copyright system. Yeah. And, uh, that is somehow not surprising whatsoever with YouTube's you, track record of that system. YouTube's always been on the wrong side of that one, Chief. <clears throat> yeah, so there's just this big, huge... Because there's this guy, there's this YouTuber called the... I think his name's the Act Right Man or something. Act Right Man? Oh, Man? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Act Man. Just Act Man. Yeah, yeah, he... The Act Man, yeah, yeah. So he, he he did a video on Quantum TV and uh, he got... Sh- he got... His channel got striked uh, because he, like... It's insane. The quantum TV guy just, and it, it was literally just a commentary on the guy. It was his, it was of like, if like Oompa of ill or like did a commentary on fucking like one of the TLC fat bitches. Like clearly you know, like transformative that kind of thing. work, right? Like just transformative, like yeah. fully fair use. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. like YouTube, YouTube, I think they reinstated his video. Like they said that the, he was in the right because for fair use, but something, I don't know. It, it's just the, the, they're, they're siding with quantum TV and he's clearly abusing both TOS and the copyright system. And I think the act right, man, it's just, I, I read man. a tweet. I read a tweet, the <laughs> act man, sorry. I read a tweet earlier and he said that, uh, he has like a, like a YouTube partner, like a person on the inside that he can talk to directly. Must be nice. And he said that they're going to completely really nice. demonetize his channel. Holy shit. Who's the act man channel or the other? Yeah. Uh huh. The fuck. Why? I don't know. It's, it's like YouTube is literally like just siding with like the bad guy. I mean, I know they've always been like kind of fucking stupid with copyright shit because they don't want to get sued. So they've always just been unbelievably overcautious, which has led them to fuck over a lot of people. But that's just yeah. like, yeah, but that's blatantly usually with, stupid. That's usually with like big companies like Sony and Warner and stuff like that. Not yeah. just other YouTubers, though. Yeah. Like, what do they that's really crazy. stand yeah. to gain by by siding with him? They they're they're gonna they're they have nothing to gain. They have all to lose. Yeah, like, this exactly. is a huge thing because they, like. This is this is paving the road for other people to think that they can abuse the system like the Quantum TV can. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's also, pretty for fucks. the record, I thought you were going to tell us about like some cool new TVs coming out, and not like some new Quantum. TVs. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting. You I to thought you were going like, to tell me like some MTV shit or something. I was excited <laughs> about technology. Like, yeah, they discovered no. how to like travel at the speed of light on TV. <laughs> yeah, ten million FPS at eight K. Yes, ah. but yeah, not yeah. going, my friend. Not That's going. fucking stupid. Well, we as the goons say, fuck that guy. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, the thing is, we don't really commentate on other people, so. But not fuck cargo shorts. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I used to wear cargo shorts all the time as a kid. Same. And those hoes were the best because I could fit my entire Nintendo DS in there. The DS mm-hmm. lights could fit that whole bitch in my pocket. Yes, With sir. With the dentist, enjoy Pokemon Diamond. Just better. Just I good wore pants. cargo shorts today. Bring back cargo shorts. You can they never still left. Wear them. Yeah, you can still I don't wear them. any cargo shorts. They never left my inventory. McNasty, some tells me you just never wear yeah. shorts. I feel like you're like a I'm mustard shorts right now. jeans kind of guy all the time. Are they ripped shorts? Mustard jeans? What the fuck is yeah, mustard jeans? Yeah, like you jeans? just got like some jeans with like mustard on them and shit. <laughs> mustard Why do you guys think jeans. I live like a fucking pig? You do? I don't. I can go take a picture of every room in my house right now and it's not bad at all. Take a picture of your shorts. Go the worst thing I have is maybe a couple of cups on my desk and some... Go, 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 what? go take a picture of your mud bath in the yard that you roll around in. <laughs> what the fuck? What's wrong with you? Because <laughs> you're a yeah. pig. Why are there? you so mean to me? You deserve it. I feel like I'm such a gentle, g- gentle person. The gentle giant. That yeah, is I'm fucking a fucking cat. Gentle giant, you guys are so mean to me. You called me. No, I don't once. have fucking mustard jeans. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> and I wear shorts all the time. It's fucking hot as hell here. I wear shorts all the time. But not the if cargo a, kind. If I lived in a colder state, like where it only got like 80 is the mm-hmm. hottest, then I probably would never wear shorts. But when it gets up to like the 90s and over 100 and shit, I have to wear shorts. There's no way I'm wearing pants. Shorts are great. I like them. They're, they're, they're cozy. I actually I dislike pants. Shorts. I never wear pants. They're okay, but I like I pants. I feel like <laughs> I, I actually don't think I've ever seen do wear pants. Not like pants, pants. 
Sorry, I got distracted because Oompa's typing in cancer chat. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. I, I just wasn't expecting to see that out of nowhere. <laughs> so, yeah, what the hell? Um, what is pants pants? Like jeans. Pants pants. Talking about buying some pants pants. I don't know. The fucking... There's some pants that are held... Like, there's a... Uh, called smoking pants. They're just like cotton trousers. They are the comfiest fucking thing ever. That sounds and you nice. don't look like a bum when you wear them, and I just I love them. I wear them all the fucking time. They're, they're I like to wear. I like to wear like usually when I go out, I I have these pants I bought from. You guys ever shop on ASOS? ASOS dot com. Uh, I used yeah, to American Eagle. Ago. Yeah, they they make they make like skinny jeans. They make like regular jeans, and the the denim material is like stretchy. It's like yeah, denim, most, but it's stretchy. Most skinny jeans should be. And they're just super comfortable. Like I feel like I'm not even like wearing anything. It's almost like I'm wearing like yoga pants or something. I think the uh, the best are nudie jeans or even All Saints makes pretty solid jeans. But I, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, All Saints makes good jeans. What, have you never heard All of All Saints? All State jeans. Are you in yeah. good pants? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good in, one. That's a damn in good your one. pants? <laughs> Plastic maybe dinosaur toy. Maybe I stole. Cocking balls. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe all of the above. Maybe some they them bussy. They, I never really buy clothes. Sport. You steal? Yeah. You make them yourself? Yeah, craft them. <laughs> nice. I feel like I've had the same pants since like high school. Have yeah, I feel like you, every time I've you seen buy you, clothes, you've been like a, a ton of money. A cartoon character that like swaps fits every like every two seasons. <laughs> or never. <laughs> no, Peter Griffin's wearing the same fucking white different. shirt and green pants for twenty years. I'll literally go buy the uh, the packs of shirts at Walmart, like the all black shirts. Hey, nothing wrong with those. That. Yep. I'll the occasionally basics. buy a band shirt. I don't know. I just don't band really shirt? give a fuck. Man, band shirts are actually I, the fucking best. I just like wearing like, comfortable shit. Same. Like Twitch shirts. <laughs> what? Okay, so what? I don't what? Know why you're, okay, you're so, so 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 what's the deal with the Twitch shirt? Uh, I, don't know. I, see I threw mine out. <laughs> I have I have one or two Twitch shirts that I wear sometimes, but man, you fucking hate it. I feel like I, I don't know. I feel like I <laughs> I don't know. I feel like when I first started watching you, I just noticed that shirt a lot. So I was like, oh, that's a Twitch I've shirt guy. I've worn it in like two or three videos you're ever. Not, you're, not, you're not the guitar guy to me. You're the Twitch shirt guy. That's fair. I'm also oh my God, the dude. Show. Where's the Twitch oh shirt? Where's the- <laughs> I have a Twitch shirt request. Can you go put on the purple one? I feel Somebody like please like, ask him that if you see him I on the I feel like it's like Clark Kent where he just like, if he has his Twitch shirt on, you know exactly who he is and he takes it off in front of you and you're like, whoa, where'd you go? Just like- yeah, <laughs> Who are you? No like Clark idea. Kent when he like takes off his sunglasses yeah, or his regular glasses. That's what I said two seconds before. Oh, you did oh it's, yeah, like, it's like as if I was Clark Kent and like <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Clark sunglasses. Kent. Oh, Clark Kent. Dude, it's like Bart Who Jeff. Is that? It's Clark like Kent. Shark Clint. Clark Kent. Shark Clit. Rub it. Make shark it Clit. Shark, do sharks <sighs> have clits? They have to. They have to. Probably. Somebody Google it. No, I'm they're always so games. angry, bro. There's no way they have a clit. You ever see the pussy on another animal? It's kind of weird. I don't know why. Like, do you ever just uh, you ever seen an animal like a, like a you donkey have a female pussy dog? I'm worried where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see your dog's pussy and just well, say, dogs? Mm. Dogs' vaginas don't look like regular vaginas. You ever at all. just spread your dog's just pussy just... and just look up in that bitch? <laughs> <laughs> See what's going on? See I'm talking about like a donkey or a sheep or something. No, I, 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 I however have seen sheep nuts, bro. Sheep's got. <laughs> Big old fucking clonkers the down department? there. I'm gonna Google <laughs> sheep nuts. Look up sheep nuts. They are fucking <coughs> insane. Oh my god, you can buy them. You can buy all sheep balls. Green fed them. sheep nuts. People Lamb eat bull testicles. balls. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think people eat sheep nuts. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they're fucking huge. God Using bulldog damn. nuts. Bulldog nuts. Bulldogs do they look bull- as funny as the bulldogs do? Bulldog. <laughs> They just have big old round balls. Do people eat bulldog nuts? I'm sure someone's eating them. Um, probably, yeah. I don't think that's just like a... It's definitely not an aphrodisiac. But well, speak you for that. yourself. <laughs> I, be all. I, don't, I don't know how sheep exist with those nuts 
dragging the ground like a Dude, horse's they're actually, cock. Yeah, that's crazy. The the usually, horse sticks are insane. <laughs> they usually, just, like, um, yeah. You ever looked drag. up inside of the pee hole before? It's wild. No, I have not looked <laughs> in the pee hole of a horse. Usually, uh, they castrate sheep like when they're babies. I understand or, like, that. When they're now. just young. What, they Did you guys do, hear like, about the gorillas at the Bronx Zoo? No. The Bronx Zoo. Yeah. The zoo you know in the Bronx. Do? Zoo in the uh, Bronx. These gorillas the Bronx just started zoo? doing the oral blowjob sexy time at the zoo. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. It's and so weird I, to me the gorillas have like yeah. two inch dicks. Yeah. Is that really weird? Because we're not. I mean. It's, it, yeah. it doesn't satisfy me, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> I'm monkey man. <laughs> hey, girl, before I take my pants off, I just got to let you know, I am monkey man. <laughs> I'm built like a gorilla, baby. Don't worry about it. But only downstairs. Just I can rip you in inch, half, but not with my dick. Little, little doorstop dick. <laughs> I uh, actually speaking of monkeys dicks on <laughs> on Reddit this <laughs> so this is the weirdest sentence that's probably ever come out of my mouth. But I was on Reddit this morning and there was like this lady filming at like one of those drive through <laughs> zoos where like the monkeys will come on your car quite literally in a Did you want on your car? story. <laughs> they'll like they'll they'll sit on the car and they'll like rip the windshield wipers off and just do you know, a little monkey business. Monkey shit. Yeah, yeah they just they just this jizz all over it. Yeah, then well this monkey sat on her rear view like little like side mirror like your little wing mirrors and he just was going to town on his cock and he cummed in his own hand and ate it and then wiped the rest on her window and left <laughs> they're just what living alpha. the alpha life where was that at? I'm going, I'm going to the zoo. I'm going to the zoo ASAP. <laughs> I'm going to roll all my windows down. Let them in Dude, my Dude, that car. picture that I just blinked is so unfortunate that that, like, that girl, <laughs> the, the girl has those two way. little like fucking balls in her hair <laughs> perfectly placed. <laughs> well, without no context, that sounds really fucked. There is not actual human <laughs> balls in the little girl's hair. It is little pom-poms. No little pom-poms. Perfectly censoring the gorilla nuts. <laughs> or Gorilla Goosey that could be a no that's Actually, the one getting a... top that's the one about oh, to get that's top <laughs> oh is there a video uh yeah can you find it for Link? us I want to watch a gorilla get sloppy oh, live absolutely. gorilla top reaction from the goons right yeah now. live sloppy gorilla Wait. and I'm just thinking like <laughs> you know people are there's a thumbnail <laughs> <He's> like, <"Yeah!" laughs> she's excited while the other kid's like crying dude they are going to town I don't know if I want to watch that. I might oh, I'm make watching stomach right hurt now. or something. Oh, there's audio. This is big. I wonder if he moans. Oh! He's just like... Oh, oh he's ready. <laughs> Everybody little, just clears his, out. <laughs> bro, oh, my God. He's thrusting in there, too. Dude, I'd be I'd be so happy if that happened to me. That Honestly, they need to make that. that it's like on I love, exhibit. I like that they're just cucking the other gorilla to the left of them. They're just <laughs> sitting on the fucking thing. Oh my god, this guy busts in like three seconds. Oh, did you, did you hear the guy at and? the end when they stop? The guy goes, aww. <laughs> like he wanted more. <laughs> look at his little weenie. When, they, when she moves, look at his little pecker down it's there. It's so tiny. I only paid for three seconds. Come on. Get back at it. <laughs> Imagine being like the biggest, baddest animal in the kingdom, and you have a two-inch dick that comes in three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, imagine Ooh. that. <laughs> <laughs> you got something to say, brother? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's going on over there, bud? <laughs> really pushing a narrative today. <laughs> yeah. For three seconds and then coming. <laughs> what? I'd be pushing narratives. Yeah, that's when you that fuck a book. That gorilla's name was narrative. When you fuck a book. <laughs> it's pushing a narrative. <laughs> fuck a book. Fuck a fuck a book. Stop. Pushing rope. <laughs> shooting ropes down my dad's face. Shooting rope, shooting, A shooting frozen rope. Frozen <laughs> rope. Slush. Wouldn't that just become a stick? A frozen rope is now just stick? Trees yeah. are just frozen ropes. Probably mm. not. <clears throat> mm. Trees are just backwards paper. We really hit a high point watching a gorilla get sloppy, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there any other did you guys cool hear that, sloppy uh, videos? No? Did you guys Probably. hear that, um... Um... Uh, 
Grandpa? Huh? Who'd you? Huh. The fuck was? What was that? Stop doing a bit. How did you already what are we fall asleep about? again? Stop doing a bit. What are we hearing about? <coughs> did you guys hear about? Okay. Uh -huh. I'm gonna kill myself live uh -huh. on this podcast. I'm gonna go live during about this podcast. <laughs> We should do a live podcast sometime where we let people listen in. Yeah, it sounds like hell. I'm down. Oh, that's what you meant by live podcast. I think you meant like actual physically out in the existence. And BBC. yeah, that too. We well, should. Two we of should. you don't show your face, so that'd be hard. Nah. When dude. are you doing a face reveal, McNasty? Now they do music. Are you just gonna wear? A box I have said this show? several million billion, several million billion. Mm-hmm. Sorry, that's I don't need pay to attention to anything you type in the group chat. Yeah, well, I've said several million billion. Just five seconds ago, I said it. One billion dollars. I'm gonna sneeze. One billion. Once I get one billion dollars on the bank account, I will show my face. Oh, so you're, my you're God. gonna do a face reveal at one billion dollars? One trillion, billion, billion, trillion. Who would say me, Mario? I don't know if anybody has that money. I, you know, I like the high bar for yourself, though. That's big. Yeah. <sighs> no, uh, after we start going like physically live with our music then I'll just do a face reveal because I don't want to have I'm not gonna wear a mask on stage fuck that yeah that's are you gonna awful, change yeah. your YouTube logo and shit no you'll still be boxed, yeah, I'd, man. I'd keep it the I'm way not, it is yeah I'm not connecting my band to my logo yeah no, I mean, showed his face separate. before and he's still the milk bag dude mm-hmm yeah I'm not hey. saying you had to change it I was just asking no I'm not okay that's cool. My head hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a dad I screaming guess. at his little innocent son. McNasty after work to his child. <laughs> and then I just pick him up and swing him around like a baby. <laughs> Something about McNasty being a father makes me uncomfortable. Terrifies me. I'd be a great dad. Mm -hmm. I can prove it. Probably. As long as I You'd had be a, a great to, like, daddy. Take care of him it might, maybe it would mature you a little bit. It might be good for you. Go come in a woman. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I probably would. Like, if I was. If I had a, another. Human to take care of, and I'd probably that poor, I'd probably get on a good sleep schedule. Human. And like, <laughs> I feel like yeah, you'd be I mean, the kind of dad to send pictures of the shitty diapers to the group chat and just blow. Uh, about to eat this. <laughs> Who wants some? <laughs> Who wants Didn't some bites? Speak up. <laughs> Gross. Uh, Kid poo. Uh, I hope I never have. I I do not like kids at all. Yeah, I, I actually I never fucking hate them. I I literally want to spin kick a kid every time I see him. You guys don't want kids? Uh. Never? Never, ever, Aww. ever. Bro, I like Super cats and kids. cars. I'm good with those. Yeah, they've said this before. This is uh, repeated content oh. for everyone. Yeah, well, comments. I mean, when you're on episode 80 fucking five, you're going to have some repeated content, so fucking When you're fuck 85 off, years old, you just forget things. Yeah, when you're 85, you just forget about everything. So Man, are we still going to be doing the podcast when we're 85 years well, old? that's the thing. That'd be so great because <laughs> every time, it's like getting to know each other again. It's like, what do you... What do you do? What do you, what's your interests? Oh, Soup, you're in a band, apparently? That's good to hear. Like, I we just wait. wouldn't know. <laughs> wait! <laughs> yeah, you know, you get, you get the vibe. Yeah. That should, that should go hard. Bada, 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 bing, bong, bong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish it was five minutes in the future. I wish we were Why? five so nights at Freddy's. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Man. energy we love to bring. Fire the time machine! I would skip a fire. Skip, skip, skip Nasty, a you know fire. you could just talk to your friends for five minutes. You know what's fucked is we end the podcast and then you sit in Discord for another half an hour with all of us and talk. <laughs> yep. Like what do you? What, I know, I'm just. Why I'm can't just you do that talking. when the recording is there? Bro, it's bro. red light syndrome. Red light syndrome. It means he yeah. can't re talk under the pressure uh, of being recorded. That, I mean, that is a, definitely a thing. I feel like it's worse for music. I had that like five years ago. I don't know. I don't give a damn. I don't have that with YouTube, but music, man, that was awful. Because everyone's just sitting there. Oh, yeah. Me. Especially if you're like in a studio, everyone's like, <laughs> well, go ahead. Go ahead. Play it yeah, perfectly nervous. on the first try. Don't mess um, up. No, no, <laughs> Yeah, when I was writing the riffs for our first song, it was. I was fucking up a lot, especially the solo. Yeah, that sucks. When you have a riff and you just can play it perfectly, then you go to record it and, and just, then you just fuck it up it's entirely. It's like you have Michael J. Fox disease out of nowhere. You can't play your guitar. I wonder what's all. happening. Like, I wonder what... It's a mental like, what thing. Kind of you're just... You're confident. It's like that with, like, a lot of things. Like, even fucking golf or, like, something like that. If somebody's watching, you just start to overthink shit and then you forget... To just let your body do the thing you've practiced 400 million times. Yep. I just, just I wonder what kind up. of like chemical thing is going on in your brain when that happens. Like, 
I mean, nervous. What's causing Regular that? Regular nervousness is, yeah. I, I noticed it Nothing a lot deeper in that. In the video I'm working on right now, I'm doing another one of those like double guitar ones where I play two the the fused oh. guitar. And uh -huh. when I when I when I think about what I have to play, I fuck up. And when I literally sit there and think about nothing, it's perfect. Yeah. I can't explain yeah, that. That's weird, right? Muscle you think, memory. You think, oh, you just got to concentrate really hard, but when I just think about like fucking a dude's ass, you know, something else, it's just completely perfect. Same whenever I'm on stage. I think Same that's why thing. a bunch of '80s bands would just get fucking hammered before they would like play live. I just think it was a severe that, like, mental health issues with little support, but yeah, I'm sure yeah, it nah, it was probably just so they could play better. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, all that heroin was so they could rip the a mean pentatonic solo. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was necessary. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, whenever I'm on stage and I, like, think about what I'm doing, that's when I fuck up. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll be playing the easiest riff, and I'm like, oh, I'm playing bass right now, and then... <laughs> <laughs> you just play one of those little slider things on stage? Yeah, like a little tube comes out. That reminded me of us trying yeah. to think of the name for them. <laughs> My bass turns into a groan tube because I thought about it. Groan tube, that's what they're called, yeah. Groan, groan tube? Yeah. Groan tube, groan We also talked those. about this. Do you guys remember those little like fleshlights that weren't fleshlights? They were like, they're, they're built like a sea cucumber, and you can get them at like yeah. little gag stores and shit. We also uh -huh. talked about that. They have like little fishes in them. <laughs> you know what? I'm just not gonna talk the rest of the podcast because my name is Dementia. Spaghetti or meat? Every word you've ever said has already been said on the. Which podcast. animal would you be if you could be another animal? Spaghetti. We should try and predict something, like predict the future with this podcast, like I'm call down. something. Okay. Yeah. Let's. Um, uh, Obama. Um. Yeah. Steven Tyler will die in a car crash. Okay. Uh, that sounds like a threat. Okay. That's, that's, <laughs> I'm July fourth, six p.m. There's <laughs> <laughs> a direct threat to Steven Tyler. Please stop mm. singing, you or you will die in a car crash. Adam Sandler will wear basketball shorts. <laughs> no. <laughs> Surely <laughs> not. He probably is right now. If I were to guess, he will never be balling. It's funny how he just like, he just has. That's just him. It's like he's. Yeah. It's like he like he buys all his clothes from Ross. I think he just gets like the Rocks hand me downs because they're always way too big for him. <laughs> <laughs> I love I gym shorts, dude. I wear gym shorts all the I'm time. I'm wearing them now. Yeah, I like gym shorts. I just don't like basketball shorts because they're just like. Yeah, I don't like them. Basketball shorts, they're kind of heavy. They have like a lot of, you know, weight yeah. to them. But like gym shorts, I'm wearing gym shorts right now. They're just like light and airy. They'll make your balls like, stink. Uh, yeah, it's like heavy. any sort of athletic material or like cotton shorts, like sweat shorts. Those go fucking hard. Yo. So cozy. Yeah. A lot of but short no talk today. No Echo Unlimited uh, shirt and big old no. giant red basketball shorts. DC shoes. DC shoes, yeah. Have you guys seen the vape commercial where the guy who's like, don't vape. That's metal in your lungs. No. 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 He sounds like the least tolerable person <laughs> to listen to. I kind of want to vape. It's like an now. ad. I, it's an ad I always see on YouTube when I watch a video. It's like talking you about vape ads. <laughs> it's wild. Yeah. Yeah. I, have I get a lot of vape yet. ads. I don't get ads. I kind of enjoy the ads. Hey, like I watched. Baby. I watched one that was like super long about uh some kind of medicine that can cure diabetes and how this guy, like I clicked on the ad I was so it's a interested. 30 minute ad soups Dude it was long time. as fuck, it, it was like an hour sometimes you, Yeah, sometimes you get ads that are like longer than the actual video, it's weird Yeah, yeah, you could skip those for some reason, I like always see comments of people that are like, hey bro, you just watch a 30 minute ad for you, it's like, you could skip that, I still get my one African penny per, yeah. per the ad thing, like it's, I get it's my fine, you don't have to yeah. it's fine, yeah, Zimbabwe V-Buck yeah, I had to tell my mom that when I first started doing YouTube. She's like, I watched all your ads. The oh, whole my thing. mom says like, the same that. thing. Yeah, I've told her. I told her the same thing. It's like, yeah, you're giving me like a half pence right now. <laughs> I think I'd punch my mom in the throat exist. if she watched my videos. Now, do your press... mom would deep throat if she watched your videos. What'd you say? <laughs> no, I said I think I'd punch my mom in the throat if she tried to sit down. Oh, I think it's a deep throat. Like, what are you doing? Stop doing that. I don't know. I've I've always hated like IRL people I know watching my content, but like yeah, one of my too. best friends Jared watches every video I upload. I'm like, stop doing that. Just, just ask me to hang out if you want to. Like, <laughs> like what? Why? <laughs> it's so weird. I'll show my friends like the good stuff, like the really really good stuff. Yeah, if there's like a really funny, I mean, like 
I don't know. It's hard because obviously Smitty's in the same industry, so I always show him like clips that we got or some random shit. But like, none of my other IRL friends. I'm like, look at this funny gaming clip. <coughs> like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. usually it's about what we're talking about. It's not like, dude, look at this. Yeah, you got a headshot in Morsel. Cisco. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can you please subscribe and like the video. Look at this joke about Chinese people. It's funny. What is it? <laughs> what? Pretty much. You heard me. I didn't stutter. Yeah. You goddamn you motherfucking like, goddamn motherfucker. Do you guys ever bump into like old friends or something that have like no idea what you no, do for I don't a go career? Outside. But, okay, well that's fair. Um, like, but they like <laughs> will randomly find a clip from your video on TikTok and be like, "Oh, I recognize that voice," and then do digging and find out what you do from that. I had one. Had that I had one friend. No, that never. To me. Somebody I knew back in in college texted me. I think, um, and they were like, "They're like, dude, I had watched your videos, and I just put the dots together that it was you." Kind of wild. <laughs> I don't know That's, if I ever asked this, but what did you go to college for? Me? Yeah. Yeah, we've talked about this. More dimension moments. Yeah, we have. I went to college yeah, for audio. Moments. I was gonna do like studio work or make music for oh, films. Oh, that's stuff. right. Or make music yeah. for men jerking off on Amigo. That's where I landed ultimately, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> you really took the high road. Honestly, didn't you're you? point, probably making way more money doing that than you <laughs> for making. That. Absolutely. Well, yeah, the There's audio. Hans Zimmer. The audio like <clears throat> business actually isn't as lucrative as it used to be. It's you know, a, it, it, it's kind of a sweatshop. Yeah, they they used to make bank like back in the 60s, 70s and stuff when people needed a studio and and like a, rec a sound engineer to work shit. Now everybody well, can now, just, now all you need is a MacBook. Yeah, you just need a little laptop and a little little YouTube search to figure out how to compress your stuff and yeah. So, it's not not super lucrative anymore sadly. I just did it cuz anything I liked will it. beat a studio experience. So, studios are so fucking Is that Lu is that our editor's Lucre's full name? Lucrative? Lucrative. <laughs> <laughs> Can you ask? Can you, uh, when you well, edit this Johnson the third? Put it up Lucas. on screen. Put your full legal name Soup, on screen. What, uh, yeah. what was, what was your, your incident with like somebody like finding you on like TikTok or whatever and then finding out what you do? Um, I mean, there's been a few, uh, mainly, mainly people that I already know. So they're, they're just like, yo, I saw you on TikTok today or whatever or something like that. But there was one okay. where it was a guy, um, who I had just met through a mutual friend. And I didn't really tell him what I did or whatever. And uh, I went over to his house for like a little party or whatever. And the next day I had to drive back um, for something. I can't remember. But I yeah. pulled up and he was like, he said, bro. He was like, dude, I was on iFunny last night. Oh, of course. <laughs> it's like, I saw oh, a no. video of you watching another video on iFunny. <laughs> <laughs> what? So. Fucking, it's weird to me that people still use iFunny. Yeah, that's I've I've just never heard of somebody actually going on there. Even when like back in the day, I never used iFunny. Yeah, <laughs> I used same. it back in the day. That might I got my first iPod Touch. iFunny. I used to use. They just go on there to just say shit's not funny. I don't know what's the point of the app. <laughs> I used to yeah, use e bombs know. world. Did you ever used to use that? I Your my mom's brother's world? friend what? was obsessed e with it, but e I never went on it. <coughs> I don't know what that e -B -A -U -M. is. Wait, did e -Bombs I say my world. brother's friend? My friend's brother. I don't have a brother. <laughs> it was just like a, it was just like a, uh, like a media site. People posted yeah, like it shit. Like, it's like clean 4chan. It's just like an image board. Yeah. Yes, wasn't sir. There, uh, wasn't there another one that was like that? And it was like named after uh, a vegetable or my I... live leak. Oh, no, live leak said, is good. I almost said kale. It's not kale. Dude, Chicken I was so sad. Work. Live leak's gone. Yeah. Nothing like sitting down with a big old bowl of chicken and rice and watching a beheading. Sigma grind. Yeah, no. You know, you're speaking facts right now. Out of all there used to the be one called. The uh, world, you chose to speak facts today. <laughs> oh my Made god! Facts Typical machine. Twitter user. <laughs> Actually, I saw that one on TikTok. Um, that's worse. Okay, it just falls asleep right after <laughs> sentence. <laughs> that will never not be funny. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he just sniffles so often. It's just, it's just, I start talking. It, it and just then, sounds like a big snore. And then post nasal yeah, drip starts to happen. Now I gotta swallow the Guy's just sawing wood. Postman drip. <laughs> Postman um, drip. He just delivers your mail in Gucci. I just go kind of hard. Yeah. No snore after that sentence? I'd put my, okay. I'd put my taxpayer dollars to that. Have him mm. a Gucci tracksuit as he delivers a mail. What were we talking about when Deuce snored? You were talking oh, about websites wood? and stuff. Yeah, there was another oh, one. Oh, there, there used to be one called Best Gore. And my, that's what oh, my cousin oh, introduced me to. Oh, Best Gore was fucked. 
Yeah, that was bad. It was just all bad. Yeah, that was like Live Leak was like sometimes had random funny shit. Like that was just weird. It wasn't like yeah. somebody. It was kind of like YouTube without regulations. Off. Yeah, yeah, literally. Except there was like a lot of <laughs> crazy shit. Yeah, so yeah. No, gr- like I almost said, gross gore. God, that guy sucks. Uh, whatever, <laughs> yeah, it does. the gore one. Yeah, that was just yeah, best gore. Nasty shit. Yeah, a lot of that was just all. Yeah, it was all like everything on there was just bad. Like, like somebody Johnny's cutting their stick snore. and balls off of the butter knife, bad. Like just the weirdest yeah. shit all the time for no reason. Just out of pocket stuff. See, I never understood yeah. I mean, why you would do that shit to begin on, with. On live leak though, I've seen and then some you record it. Pretty weird things. A lot of a lot of yeah. lot of bangers there though. My uh, my favorite would there for some reason it'd always be like five minute videos of like failed suicide bombings so like people just drive their car to like a u.s military checkpoint and try to blow it up and they would just jump out of their car and the car would just roll by <laughs> daintily and nothing would happen and then they just get fucking lit <laughs> up <laughs> Amateurs. It's, it's just or like they'd blow up like 200 feet away still and just and blarg's just like nothing that is not how you do it what are you doing <laughs> like nothing would even be close to it it was just it was it was a good place it was it was a wholesome place a lot of good fun there a lot of family that's, fun uh, that's kind of cute honestly yeah i used to I use do. uber fax bro uber fax was the biggest load of bullshit in the world i because i had the ipod app back in the day where you literally used to just like you'd scroll and it would show you another one yeah i literally got fucking back-to-back ones one was like ants can sleep for two weeks straight next one was ants do not sleep McNasty's an ant. <laughs> I was pissed. I lost all my faith in Uber. Fa- <laughs> Everything I ever knew about it was wrong. Shut up, McNasty. Yeah, kiss my pussy, bitch. I would actually rather die. Uh, most sharks do not kiss. attend church. <laughs> Uber post facts. this in ten discords if you love Allah. Most sharks. Ignore if you, if you hate Satan. I love Satan. Sorry. I just ripped a big old stinky poop on my pants. piss me off on Facebook back in the day. It's just oh, like, yeah. grandma goes to hell unless you like this image. I have never yeah, disliked I would just an never image like those. Just sorry, grandma. See you later. Not sorry. Do you guys remember uh, like message chains on MySpace? Send this to four retards or you're not yeah. going to get kissed on New Year's <laughs> Eve this year. Four <laughs> retards. None of them. None of them non-retards. I don't want to see none of that. <laughs> hey, there's four of us right here. There we go. We all. we all get kissed on New Year's. Hip, 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 hip. Okay. <laughs> He's getting a hip transplant. That's funny. Yeah, make make fun of the nasally challenge, McNasty. That's real funny. The nasally <laughs> challenge. <laughs> That's funny, dude. Twitter drag this man. Uh, <laughs> Where are you dragging drag me to? This man. Uh, not you uh, making fun of the nasal challenge. Got anything going on? I have a show this uh, weekend. No. Nope. Let's go. Where's uh, your show at? In a parking lot. Oh Hell right, yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. You, you guys should do like a uh, should hire like a videographer and have somebody film one of those shows because I feel like those would like I don't know those those got the coolest energy. I'm yeah. gonna show my balls to an old man. And it was our best show out. the last time we did it, which is why we're doing it again. Which that is would free. Be, yeah. Any any crackhead can walk up and jam. <laughs> that, that would make it's for so like fucking a, cool. a cool like old school MTV music video for one of your songs too. Yeah, I think there's a lot of bands that should definitely like could do shows like that. That would be fucking tight. But should buy like be... a really nice camera. I just bought one uh, the other day. I've thought about it. What are you filming I bought, like, with a camera? Um, Dog I, porn. Just, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. I just I wanted. I've always thought about buying one just because like. I don't know. I feel like having a really nice camera will actually make me want to go outside and go places and take pictures and stuff. I mean, you should definitely do yeah, that. Well, do you have an iPhone? iPhones are actually insanely good cameras. They just yeah, they just take bad. a lot of like yeah, post processing to make look like good. Yeah, they I, they just can't compare to like a really nice. Well, because the thing is, like a big part of a good camera is lenses. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. Like you, you have a lot of different lenses that can do a lot of different stuff, and. uh yeah. Yeah, a couple of lenses that I bought were actually almost as expensive as the camera. Oh, yeah. What camera did yeah, you get? That's pretty. I got the Sony A7 IV. Nice. Oh. Wait. I think I might have that. 
I feel like I Dude. bought that for uh, my oh. car channel back in the day. Car. I cannot remember. I, have, I, did, I brought my... Uh, you might the, have the A7 III. Because the A7 possibly, IV is like pretty new. Yeah, no. So it was like... It would have been like three years ago. Two years ago now? I don't know. Oh, yeah. You probably have the... Yeah, you probably, yeah, the, probably the last one then. Um, but yeah, we just got like two lenses. And I remember the lenses being literally just as expensive as a camera. And I was like, well, you got a battle. Yeah, was it the G Master lenses? Uh, has honestly, like a, has a, I could not tell you. All I know is I used the camera wrong the whole time because I actually didn't turn on the ND filter. So shit looked like blown out. Y'all speak in Spanish to me, right? I don't now. even know what that is. I like when the I ND get filter, it, I'm going like, to have to. So basically it stops way too much. Like if you're, especially if you're like filming, it's really bad. If you're outdoors, you'll just get way too much exposure. Like no matter what you do, uh, and an ND filter blocks out a lot of that exposure. Mm. Um, mm. So yeah. Yeah, when I get it, I'm going to watch like a big long tutorial video. There's, there's already one I have like saved. Yeah. Just so I can like learn how to. Because there's a lot of camera jargon I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. Same. I don't I don't know anything. I used to just have my buddy set it up and I'd sit there because they're scary to work with too. Because you're scared to change a setting and then just forever look like shit because you don't know what you change. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why so, I'm going to do a lot of research. I yeah, mean, when I when I was looking idea. for a camera to get, I did a shit ton of research like. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. feel like even back in the day when I got one, I feel like I remember just Googling and everyone recommended the the old version of the camera you got. So, yeah, it was it was like definitely one of the most popular cameras. But after the A4 came out, uh, it uh, it has a lot of upgrades. Obsolete. The A4. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's normal. Yeah, yeah I don't know speaking shit of about car, cameras. I get to Same. go pick up my new car this week. Hey. Yay. I am, I am going to stall it and it will be very fun. I feel like Character hearing building. hearing about you getting a new car is is what I imagine you guys feel like when I say I'm getting a new guitar this week. You buy them at the same rate <laughs> pretty much. Well, <laughs> I mean, I guess no. McNasty definitely buys more. Well, maybe not anymore. Oh, I don't I don't, used yeah, to buy guitars like then, once a month. I was never. Yeah. Oh no, it was like, like once a week back then. But now it's yeah, like once fun. every like few months. <laughs> and yeah, the no, thing is too fun. is I'm I'm also in the process of selling a lot of guitars, like so I don't you know. Yeah, you know I'm not just money. growing my the right ones. current. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the time I break even. Uh, every once in a while I'll make like a few hundred dollars extra because I'll buy a guitar. Like, do you remember that? Do you remember that uh, bossy guitar I bought for super cheap? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I sold that and made like six hundred bucks on that because whoever sold good. it was just like then they were just, just throwing to get away money, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, well, some people like. Sorry, go ahead. Some people sell guitars uh, way underpriced because they like desperately need the money. They don't want to sit around and wait for somebody to buy it five months later. Yeah, that's. I mean, that makes sense. I feel like, especially in that industry, if they like. If it's the if, if selling a guitar for cheap and just getting rid of it is the difference between them having to go get another job again or like just being a musician full time and floating on the money from the guitar, like I'm sure there's right. a lot of times where that unfortunately happens. So that makes sense. Yeah, I'll see. Like when I when I shop on Reaver, I'll see a lot of people be like, "Oh, so I'm like I don't really want to sell this guitar, but I'm moving and I need the extra funds." And yeah, see yeah, for luckily, my like, band. It, it, go ahead, Lark. Sorry. No, I was just gonna say because like I get that because like that literally that exact same thing happens like. In the car market like it is if you know what to look for and what to buy you can make so much fucking money just buying cars driving them for six months and selling them especially now like with the market i have not lost any money off of buying cars in fact probably made quite a substantial amount it's like you know what you're doing which is same for guitars or like guess anything it's just wild how much money there is to be made just off people selling shit for way too cheap yeah for um, sure. Go ahead, Soup, with whatever you were saying. Oh, uh, I was just going to say, like, uh, with band shit, it's tough because there's so much that goes into it. And it's hard when you're, like, an independent band to do all the shit that you would like to do, like mm -hmm. getting everything recorded properly. You got to, like, sell your merch and all this shit, you know? So it's it's a lot. Like, you, yeah. and, you know, you're setting up all your own equipment. You're changing your own strings, you know. You're you're doing everything yourself. Like the other day, I had to sit down and count like every individual T-shirt that we have and like group them up by like sizes and oh. shit. So why aren't yeah. you like paying a third-party source to do that? He wants I don't the know experience. Who the fuck. Well, I mean, yeah, the experience is nice. <laughs> you, gotta the, you gotta have the experience of being a poor band, despite the fact that you're not a poor band. 
Yeah. Well, I don't even know who we who we would even get. Like yeah, I don't even know. Uh, it's not like, like where to begin. There's play, people who are saying, "I'll help you manage your band," like all over the place. Where do you go to look? Yeah, for it's not like, like YouTube. That? I feel like with YouTube, you get people emailing you all the time, like, yeah. "Hey, you need help with your YouTube channel, or want us to do this and that." And it is yeah. not like that as a band. Yeah, yeah. You probably just have not, to like for us. know people in the industry. You're and telling then, like, me Raid around. Shadow Legends doesn't come to you about your band? That would actually be so sick. This concert is sponsored by Raid. <laughs> Just break down it's like right like in the rape. middle of a song too. You just stop one song just to. This guitar solo you. is sponsored by. <laughs> that would be fucking awesome. I would do it. Yeah, I wonder how much. Do I feel like you would definitely do that for for I a do. good bit? <clears throat> I feel like yeah, at they, this point they, it'd just be a meme. <clears throat> like it'd be funny more than people would be angry. Yeah, they wouldn't. Be, they wouldn't pay very much money because how much? How much people go to your concerts? Like when you like a parking lot concert, like a few hundred. Uh, I think last time we had like. 150 maybe yeah but it's like yeah a, that, that's like literally a, like 150 views on youtube yeah. i don't think ray would give well, you but it's a live it's different they, when they it's can't in person. they can't double yeah. tap 60 seconds forward and skip him saying yeah. it. they gotta sit there yeah. and listen and they're literally seeing him live tell you to download this this app yeah yeah like, but it's who not the just fuck a goes voiceover. to a concert and downloads a game on your phone. I don't phone. know. It hasn't like, been tried yet. How many people have promoted a game <laughs> yeah. during a set? We don't have a. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a sample group. We never tried. It, it's I mean, if I was like a live audience is so much different than yeah, it translates YouTube different. Audience. Like yeah, like it, it's weird. Like if you think about it, your biggest bands are really only playing to what like thirty thousand, yeah, forty thousand yeah. people. Yeah. At these shows, which is a shit ton of people, but I mean, if you. Think about it. You get like YouTube views. Yeah, you're three hundred like, thousand people watching a video. A million people watching a video. It's different. Yeah. Uh, so, imagine playing a live concert for a million people. I can't. Crazy. I wonder what the Metallica largest concert. It. Yeah, I was gonna say, wasn't there something insane right, in like the eighties? Uh, no. In in I think nineteen ninety one, they played in Moscow. Like right whenever it was yeah. uh, the Black Crows. Uh, Pantera, Metallica, and ACDC, I think, was the bill. Damn. That's such and it was a, a crazy fucking... If you've never watched wild. that concert, dude, it's fucking crazy, dude. Oh, my God. It was free. It was a free concert in Moscow, and I think it was right whenever, like, they stopped being a communist country or yeah. something. I don't mm -hmm. I don't know. When they stopped being the USSR or some shit like yeah. that, I think is what was happening. And so they had a free concert over there, and they had the fucking military doing, like, security... And they're flying helicopters over the fucking crowd. And there's like a million people. I think there was like 1.6 million people at the show. What the fuck? Damn. Or something that like that. That has got to be a record. That's insane. Yeah, like people died. People were getting like fucked. That's fine. Showing heart. Will. <laughs> we're and okay, like well, you, can see, <laughs> you can see like the military with their big ass batons just like beating the shit out of people. Because they had no idea. Like they didn't know like at a rock concert, oh, people are going to be going crazy. So they're yeah. like beating the shit out so of people and arresting yeah, I guess them. They, I guess they just wouldn't even know what to expect. Like they would just have no concept of like a band like Metallica coming there. Yeah, like you get sent to the fucking gulag for headbanging. So. I want to see what the largest concert ever was. <laughs> Rod just Stewart. Up like the, the no people that way. are actually being like nice. Rod Stewart has had the largest concert ever with 3.54 million people. How? Holy shit! What is in? What, was he just standing Copa, in the middle Copa, of a Copa, town? Copacabana? Uh, uh, what is that? I don't know what Copacabana is, but uh, Copa it was on New Year's that's Eve. Like a, um, that's like a vacation city. Oh, really? Well, he played Wait. there on New Year's Eve, and apparently, three point five million people were in attendance. I've always wondered what the sound would be like if you were just the last person. Yeah, to you show were up. the three point very... five millionth person to show up, and you're just at the bag. You literally. Dude, you'd have to watch it on your phone or something. Like you'd have to have binoculars. <laughs> Even at some of these stadium shows, like yeah, just a regular like football stadium, if you're not close enough, you still struggle to to see the show. Yeah, so literally. What are you doing? Yeah, my my cousin went and saw Metallica in Vegas and at the new uh, Raiders stadium. Like I think last year, or no, it was the beginning of this year. And he, he said like, like the first three songs, he couldn't even hear the song. All he could hear was just people fuck? like screaming. Yeah, because he was ass. so far away from the stadium. Yeah, that's, but then like I, once people calm down a little bit, like then you st could start hearing the music. I like smaller venues for that. I like like when uh, an artist does a double show instead of going to a bigger venue. Big like show. they'll do two. Yeah, they'll do two shows, um, like two separate dates, and at the same venue, but just like a smaller one. 
Like, I think I talked about it recently, but there's a place called The History in Toronto. And I think it was Drake, I want to say, or The Weeknd, one of them, uh, like, came up with it and designed it and shit. So it's, like, meant to have really good sound and stuff and really good, like, it just it's just <coughs> set up really well for, for audio and for live performances. There's a ton of, like, big musicians that play there and then just do two or three shows at that same location. And it's fucking perfect. Interesting. Yeah, I definitely yeah, I really want to understand Massive. the music industry better. I really do. It's interesting. I don't like yeah. not to brag on my band or anything, but seeing how some of these bigger bands do it, it's like some of the attendance for some of these like well-known bands is really like you'll see like some of these bands pull up in like a fucking million dollar tour bus. Meanwhile, we've we've had like the same attendance at some of the shows. It's weird. That's, I don't that's know. on Fact. having a label. Yeah, it's just like I don't understand Another how you thing get to too that point. Is like just because you have a lot of fans and a lot of listeners does not mean that will translate to live listeners. Like it's it's a big problem with especially hip hop. Um people will find their music on the internet and shit and they they fuck with it, they vibe with it, but it's like it's not something you'd care to go see in person whereas like you know, the energy at a like show like yours for example uh would be worth going to see but if you're going to see like fucking smoke perp or something that you found on soundcloud like there's just <laughs> like what do you why what, what is there to go see just listen to his music because especially for that genre they pretty much just play an mp3 anyway and give him a mic and let him do karaoke so you know what's crazy yep. to me is <coughs> raves like the fact that like martin oh, garrix wow. just made a song on his laptop and then he goes live and just presses play <laughs> and just then there's like up there and a hundred thousand people just half naked dancing and vibing and like stone out of their mind. And all he has yeah, to DJs do is are just uh, music cheerleaders. Yeah, least favorite Thank genre, but favorite community. They're so goofy. Rave people are just the yeah. funniest work of nature around. It is just yeah. the goofiest shit ever. I love it. I love, like I love that the, they're all just hippies. They're like the sluttiest people around too. <laughs> they're just living. They just don't care. Well, yeah. They just, they, I mean, I'm, not saying, they just, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that's like one uh, thing. Yeah, just, shade. They just don't care. They're just like, I'm here to take absurd amounts of drugs, dance Be in a circle, and, and then probably sleep with 16 different people in, in a span of two days. <laughs> it's real yeah. primitive. Yeah, it's literally just ape mode with some EDM yeah, in the background. Pretty, yeah, it is very primitive, yeah. It's funny. I, I fuck with it. I don't, I don't like EDM at all. To me, the genre kind of sucks, but... But the people, they're they good. They, well, EDM they're is on like the a list. There's just yeah, a it's like a million broad, different subgenres yes, of EDM. I don't, I, I, there's not been one that like I any found of it? yet that I, no, I just I don't like house or any dubstep or any form of dance music. It's just not for me. I just it's it's there's yeah, nothing I, I have against it. I'm not just I don't think it's a shit genre or anything. It's just not. For I me. thought Skrillex was sick when I first heard him. Everybody, oh yeah, like yeah, everybody back did in the Call of Duty days and yeah, early COD days. He was like Blasting metal it. for people who didn't want to get into metal because he literally wrote songs in metal song structures because he came from, what was it, From First to Last, the band? Yeah. Like he literally was like, damn, metal metal, way too much work and not enough money in this shit. I better make fucking wub wub music. <laughs> he was right. From First to Last was. was a really fucking emo band. Oh, they were, they were awful. Like well, they crab were, core as fuck. Yeah, they were like, they were prime at like attack attack day. Like just uh-huh. oh, just oh, ones ones and zeros with absurdly bad choruses. Posture. Well, yeah, posture. <laughs> well, I, oh, I will say though, uh, late late stage attack attack with Caleb Shomo, not not too bad. Shut up, dude. I'm sorry. Gesundheit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Caleb Shomo is still a fucking king. Caleb Shaw, I don't know who that is. Yeah, he's, he's been Beartooth now. He's a vocalist of Beartooth. He was Dude, like, there's this was, fucking gnat on my screen, and, and he keeps following the little red line yeah, in Audacity. Do you know, McNasty, do you remember uh, Stick Stickly, the Attack Attack song, the music video where they're just crab I think horn? so, yeah. Do you remember the yeah, chubby yeah. little nerd on the keyboard that just did nothing? He just sat there on the keyboard and played that stupid little fucking middle so. interlude part? That's Caleb Shomo, except he's like jacked and handsome and oh he became the singer now. after a while yeah well he became the yeah because austin carlisle i think was it they kicked his ass out because he like was sexually assaulting people or whatever the fuck back in the day 
Um, yeah, dude, I don't, I don't know what that is in the death course. I don't know if that really happens well, that much uh, anymore. Well, so uh, probably like not. Just with the internet age. Actually, yeah, I was going to say, didn't fucking... Just happened to Gavin Dance, dude. Their yeah, band's getting has... fucked. Like, yeah, they lost that's... their... their Bassist. Bassist, and now Tillian's out, too. Yeah, but, Tillian's in trouble. Yep. But yeah, the, so oh, far, yeah, I guess it does, because... So. Well, the he, old, he the old lead singer help. of... So, we'll see. Oh, okay, then it's not an allegation. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then never mind, my bad. Yeah, well, that's, the old, uh, that's tough. The old vocalist from Lorna Shore was accused for that kind of stuff, but he proved himself, like, like wrong. Like, that wasn't true. But he got kicked I, out of the band for it. I think it's just the same with YouTube and, like, anything. You get a lot of these, like... More, mostly like shut in kind of nerdy weirder people who just you know spent their whole teenage yeah. years not socializing because they're working on whatever they're doing and you give them like any sort of money fame or power and they're just they just have a tendency of abusing it they don't just, know how to act yeah, yeah just inse- to insecure it. and they they just put it onto other people and you know make themselves feel like god by doing whatever the fuck they want so yeah it's a it's 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 a problem that should be dealt before with you you know before any sort of fame probably should get therapy if you're that insecure of a person but you know it, it happens nah. well the thing is too is like i mean even if you're not insecure like if you're like a if you're just an ugly mug if you're just an ugly ass motherfucker but you you don't necessarily have like self-esteem issues and you go from having like zero bitches to like tons of bitches because of fame it like you just you, people have the tendency to not know how to handle that. Yeah, I mean, just yeah, that whole idea though of just like going from one social setting to another is enough to make a lot of people act like pieces of shit. Bad parenting. Yeah, it starts at home. <clears throat> I guess Probably. yeah, bad parenting too. More than likely. Yeah. But the thing is, it, it, <clears throat> I mean, it makes me think like, are you like if you're like let's say a YouTuber. I'm not going to name any names, goes from just like ugly mug ass motherfucker and then just like hello Who views. Who is he talking about? <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then they're like, they go in a tr- and like talk to like younger, like underage people. I, I, like, do, uh, Were they like that before? Like back when they were just a well, no that's... view ugly ass motherfucker? <laughs> Probably not because they didn't have the confidence to like, they didn't have the inflated ego of having wealth and a, and a viewer base to go and message these these women and the thing is they still don't even have like actual confidence it's like because they usually go after fans so like people they know they have power over they, so yeah, they're like, they want yeah, that yeah. parasocial relationship yeah they they look up to me so therefore mm-hmm. i can do whatever the fuck i want i can like easily manipulate this person into thinking i'm the b- fucking best but yeah, i'm just same, like they probably were just like, like that uh, before they just didn't have the confidence to do it same with like a boss in a workplace you know they just abuse the yeah. fact that they're like in they're charge, harsh, kind of. Yeah. It's like the same. I'm kind just of talking mentality. about like pedophilia, uh, like tendencies. Well, that's the thing. It's not mo- like the. I shouldn't say for all of them, but at least two of the YouTubers that I think we're immediately thinking of. Uh, I don't think either of them are even remotely pedophiles. They just. I was easy, thinking of like EDP. Uh, oh, well, okay. That's yeah, like he's a complete YouTubers. fucking pedophile. Yeah, that's no, that's different. He's a complete fucking pedophile. No, I just mean uh, like. Yeah. Like some of the ones that have been outed for like messaging underage fans and stuff, they're definitely not pedos. They're just yeah. The two I'm thinking of, I don't really consider pedos. They're just, they're just like, like yeah. They were just like, wow, this is going to be way way easier because yeah, easy right. to manipulate and young and I'm it's an idiot. Predatory, but not to a pedophilic sense. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it's just fucked. <laughs> it's what it is. Yeah. Yep. I know. Like, there's a lot of people that defend him. They're like, it's not illegal. It's like okay, that's that's fair. I suppose they're not going to get prison time. That doesn't mean it's okay. Like that's there's it's right. just not something that's you should ever partake in. Still a little sauce. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, if a girl comes to you and you're over the age of eighteen and she's like, "Hey, I'm sixteen, and you should just walk away. Run just don't even don't even hills. engage in it. There yeah, are more like, women out there. You don't have to yeah, be like Greek God. <laughs> have you ever seen that clip? I think it's Greek God. He was uh-uh. he was talking to this girl on the street while he was doing an IRL stream. And like he wasn't like even flirting or anything. He was just talking to this girl. And he's like, "How old are you?" I think she said sixteen or seventeen. And he doesn't say a word. He just starts sprinting full speed. <laughs> it's such a funny clip. It's so good. The just runs right through traffic and just speeds away <laughs> with his fucking IRL stream. It's so funny. 
Actually, it might have been. No, I don't <laughs> think it was Tyler one. I can't remember I, who it was. I feel like it was Greek, but it's just such a funny clip. But yeah, more mm. more more streamers and YouTubers need to take note of that. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, should we end yes, on that I'm... note on pedophiles? <laughs> <laughs> <Can> we, <laughs> I think we should end on a, on an up note. A uh, we're not pedophiles. Do the piano? <laughs> Did the that fuck not, was that? Did that not even come through? <laughs> that sounded like a, a laser gun from Star Wars. Okay, go. fantastic. Like me tiptoeing into your house at yeah. night <laughs> to peg my sweet <laughs> Me tiptoeing in my bubble. dad's kitchen to eat his cook raw cookie dough. And his shredded cheese. Okay, alright. <laughs> my dad falling down <laughs> the stairs after I pushed him. Goons Podcast. Okay, anyway. Goons oh, Podcast. Oh, oh, alright, use oh. code Goons GSOPS. McNasty used Contro. Oh, McNasty. Let us know what guest you want us to have on. Yeah, leave a comment with a guest we should have on. That's not like the Queen. Like, leave like one that we can actually get, like a YouTuber or maybe some musician we can go bother or an athlete, anyone like that. Athlete. Yo. Yeah, let us know who you want us to talk to. We need to get some more people on this bitch. Yeah, we do. I'm tired of talking to these three retards. I need four. I have cancer. Yes. <laughs> All right. Somebody do like, the goddamn outro. Like, subscribe, and comment like, subscribe if you are on YouTube. And, and download on Spotify, on YouTube, please. Really and download please download the podcast please on download Spotify. Download Every time you download the podcast on Spotify. Every time you download one Cocoa Melon. Planned Parenthood <laughs> takes the life of a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, go download that. Not bitch. after Roe versus Wade. Let's get to work. <laughs> oh. uh. Yeah, baby. Okay, goodbye. Bye.